Well, hello everybody. It's a clear night out tonight, and that can only mean one thing. I'm out imaging. I am choosing to image the Rosette Nebula, and the full moon's out. Well, not the full moon, but it's uh, pretty bright, so you must think I have rocks in my head. No, actually, I am doing narrowband imaging. This is actually the only the second time I've ever done narrowband imaging. Now, I've done strictly HA before and mixed it with uh, RGB uh, with uh, um, yeah RGB data and stuff like that but I really haven't done any strictly HA oxygen and sulfur and that's what I'm doing tonight the first one I ever did I did it with the uh, wizard nebula which probably was not the best choice because it's very dim and it's a very difficult object to find so I uh, I did it and I wasn't happy with how it turned out and it turned out okay some people said anyways tonight I'm doing as I said I'm doing the Rosette Nebula which is a much brighter nebula one of the things that I am doing differently than I did last time is I've upped the gain uh, I saw some other people doing narrowband imaging with a gain of 300 and that's what I'm going to try um, Normally I would shoot it at 139, gain 139. That's what I've been doing my regular imaging with. That's RGB, and if I do HA with HA RGB, then I also do it with 139. But this time I'm going with 300. I've actually already imaged it. Let me start it, excuse me. Exposure started. Okay. I've actually already did it with the sulfur as well as the... <coughs> oxygen and I've got some pretty good data maybe I'll show you that how it looks uh, later on I'll, I'll do a little addendum to this or something like that and I'll show you what the raw images look like with that and they come out pretty good with this 300 gain and we'll see how this turns out uh, I'm going to pause it right now and we'll wait till it's done and we'll take a look at the first image Exposure okay well, I'm back here comes the image Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy about this. We'll see you in a bit. Well, hello, everybody. I'm back. I, uh, dawned on me. I didn't show you how to adjust the gain on uh, when I first started up. So it's actually the next day. I'm just going to show you how to reset the gain on my camera. So I open up astrophotography tool I well the connect, camera's already connected and I would normally turn on the cooling aid but I'm not going to turn it on because I'm just showing how to turn up the gain you go down to settings and that pops up and here you go here's all the settings that pop up I have to start this every time because my image type always starts off at raw 8 and raw 8 is jpeg so i always got to turn this on anyway and adjust it to raw 16 and here's where you adjust the gain nor as i said normally i have it adjusted at uh, 139 but for these narrowband imaging i'm using a, a gain of 300 and then i just press ok and then i'm all set anyways uh, that's all i will do another addendum to show you how some of the other narrowband frames looked. The hydrogen, or I showed you the hydrogen, I'll, I'll show you the sulfur and oxygen uh, in a bit. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm in my house. It's the next night and I am going to show you what the Imaging those images, those narrowband images look like. I'm actually in Pix Insight, and it's a program that most or a lot of astrophotographers use. Here is what the sulfur looked like, and you can see it uh, shows a nice outline, and everything's very sharp. I'm very happy with that. Here's oxygen, and let me uh, click it off. Get back on and here's there's a nice view of the oxygen data one of the frames this is just one of the single frames i took and again very sharp and you see the nice outline of the rosette and let's look at the hydrogen which you guys already saw but here's another version of it let me click off and on again and boy that looks really good nice sharp and you can see the nice outline 
Anyhow, I think that's all I have. Again, this is Pix Insight. I usually use Pix Insight to stack and do my preliminary processing, and then I transfer it to Photoshop, and I go back and do some Pix Insight stuff and uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. I might do a video on my processing at some point, or my my quick processing, I should say. Anyways, well, that's all I have. I hope you found this useful. We'll see you later.